Oh, you bitch ass bitch. What? This D pad? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. No wonder you died so fucking much. Thank you. I at, mean, least, I... at least I'm a little vindicated. I'm gonna get a sippy first. Get a sippy. Loot lads. Welcome to Chris's turn. I have to deal with this fucking control scheme. Wow. It's great, isn't it? So, uh, I, I went to Florida. Oh, yeah, that's right. This speaking is story of, time. Speaking of Avatar stuff. Uh, I guess, yeah, if you watched the last episode, I stole some Valor. And uh, I stole it right from America. Because I came back from Florida. Florida? Florida. Let me tell you. The place I stayed. Uh, this is only going to make sense to people who live in Nova Scotia. Or at least central Nova Scotia. But I stayed in what I can only describe as the Sackville of Florida. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> it was definitely weird. Um, I have a couple of pictures that I do want to pet up here, so keep your eyes out, kids. First thing I noticed is that the businesses have... Fuck me. Um, Second goop. Anyway. Ha have mailboxes in front of them? Like, like, they're treated like houses there? Like, they just have a mail... Like, here, what's that? Oh, bring up... Because it was, I because I just walked around for a little bit, just kind of getting the lay of the land where we were at. Um, mostly because I needed to go to a Walgreens and find myself some tummies tums because my tum tum was hurting. But yeah, like they they all had this. I was looking at the picture to yeah, be honest, was, but yeah, that's weird. Why? I don't know. But they all had yeah mailboxes in front of businesses. That's the, that is the McDonald's mailbox. Okay, all right, okay. Um, so, yeah, trying to get there was absolute hell. Uh, absolutely screw our Canada. Ah, fuck me. They, um... So, we, our, our flight was a small, direct flight from from Halifax to Newark, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Right? And so I was like, cool, I can play Electric Six's Newark Airport Boogie on repeat and yep. enjoy myself because I'll be in the Newark Airport to boogie to. By the way, everybody listen to that song, it's great. Um, nope. Plane broke. Plane we, broke. We were delayed by an hour 15, I think, to get on the plane in the first place. Mm -hmm. So I was like, cool, great, whatever. We can still make our, our um, connection because I think it was like a three-hour layover or something in Newark. It's nightmare. Yep. And I was like, okay, that's not too bad. We won't be we won't be too flustered with this. And so we get on the plane finally. We have about... If we get there at a relative good pace or whatever, we're, we're, we're fine. Mm-hmm. We sit on the plane for an hour. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? They're like, yeah, we don't really know what the issue is. We'll get to you as soon as we know. And I was like, okay. Uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. An hour goes by again. At this point, it's like, well, there's absolutely no way we can make our connection. So that's fucking great. Uh, turns out the plane broke. They have no idea what the issue was or how to fix it, apparently. But they deboarded all of us back into the airport. And then we sat around there for an hour until they said, oh, by the way, we don't have any connection flights now going to Newark because our one connection flight was this plane and it's broken. So you're out of luck. And uh, for those who don't know, I was going to Disney World. So you spend a lot to kind of go to Disney World. And if you lose a day in Disney World, that's a lot of money just disappeared. Yeah. Uh, so they were like, it's fine. Everybody now has updated tickets in order to, like, we'll get you to Toronto and then Toronto to, to Florida or whatever. It's like, okay, that seems fine, whatever. And the update was, you'll get to Orlando at 11.35 p.m. the next day. Hmm. I was like, oh, no, no, no. That's the day I was supposed to, you know, fuck around in the Animal Kingdom. So we go out to the front desk or whatever and they're like, okay, we can get you to Toronto now-ish, mm -hmm. and then um, you will have to take a 6 a.m. flight to Orlando. Mm -hmm. I was like, Jesus Christ. Okay, cool. Um, so we get to we get to Toronto, immediately take a shuttle. It's like 10 o'clock or something like that. Um, and of course, it's international flight, so you have to be there an hour, like two hours before or something. So we had to be at the airport for four in the morning, which means we had to get up at 3 a.m., to uh, take the shuttle in and uh, we finally get to the airport and it's like cool, 6 a.m. flight delayed 4 hours <laughs> mm. 
I did not. So I, I've had four hours of sleep. I'm exhausted. I'm cranky. And now they're delaying me an additional four hours to get to a, a pla- th- to get to where my vacation should already be starting. <laughs> so I finally, finally get on a plane. The plane leaves. We get to Orlando. It's very warm, and uh, we have no idea how like Uber or Lyft works, but we order one anyway. I have to get into a fucking Tesla, and I'm already like, cool. I'm gonna start off my vacation with fucking like just third degree burns all over my body, huh? <laughs> With the car that actually explodes. <laughs> yeah, with the explosion car. Nice. <laughs> That's an exciting way to start being fair. <laughs> you have a 30% chance of making this out- unscathed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sucked. So, yeah, we finally got to the, uh, the hotel. We checked in. We did all that good stuff. And then immediately we were like, cool. We're taking a lift into, Flor- or into Animal Kingdom. Uh, get to Animal Kingdom. Actually have a great time. What's really great, too, is that everything, aside from the last day, everything accidentally worked out perfectly. Mm. Like, we would go, we went to Animal Kingdom, and we're like, all right, well, we saw a couple things in Animal Kingdom. A lot of the stuff is closing, like the safari closes down at quarter after five or whatever. Mm-hmm. We're like, fuck it. All right, let's, let's, let's start going towards Epcot, I guess. Um, and as we're getting out of the park, the, the tree light show starts up, and we're like, oh, sick. We're at the front of the park, leaving. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You feel my pain. I fucking hate this controller. Oh yeah. If when we replace this controller, I want to burn it. Like I, I don't, I don't care if it's yours. I'm just going to burn it. <laughs> My fucking god! <laughs> there was a time. Hold on. Sidetrack story. You know when I was trying to like duck jump to get the fucking vine? Yeah. Impossible. You can't <laughs> hold more than one direction on this fucking controller. It feels like. Anyway, continue with your fucking Epcot story or whatever the fuck you were talking about. <laughs> Well, now I don't want to. (laughs) Oh, Christ. (laughs) All right, okay. Yeah, we we ended up leaving Animal Kingdom and, like, going to Epcot. And as soon as we were like, all right, we're kind of done walking around. We'll head back to the hotel um, just because today was kind of a wash. Uh, We'll just walk over here, see what's over there. And as soon as we got over to, like, the back end where we're just going to, like, take a quick look around, the fireworks started there. And I was like, well, fucking cool. And uh, by the time we ended up being like, all right, well, you know, we're kind of tired. We did a couple looking around. We're like, let's go back. I don't know when the shuttle gets there, but as soon as we got there, we were like 10 minutes to the shuttle. So I was like, cool. Yeah. And that's kind of how the whole week worked out. Where it's just like, let's have, let's do this. And then just perfect timing or like a shuttle shows up or I want to get to the Magic Kingdom and see the parade. And as soon as we walk in, the parade's just coming around the front of it. And we're like, well, fucking cool. That starts that. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, it just kind of all worked out. That's but fucking neat. Oh, oh, oh. Air Canada still fucked me every time. I get to the Newark airport, and uh, we take an Air Canada flight back. We was, like, united to Newark, and then Newark to uh, Halifax, and that's an Air Canada flight, and <laughs> delayed an hour and a half. Mm. The only time it was delayed was Air Canada-related issues. Like, cool. Uh, and I get back into this polar vortex where it was negative 40. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. We had a fucking cold-ass day. Huh? Oh, my God, yeah. yeah. So that was neat. That was the time I learned how to uh, like properly make a fire down here. So that's why it still smells a little bit skeet. Yeah, don't you love fucking jumps of leaps of fate? It wasn't even leaps of fate. It's because every time I jump and I hold forward, it tilts up. And then when this game, okay, here's here's me. I'm like, all right, da, 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 da. there's some Whoa, up. <laughs> it's not doing it now. It's making me look <laughs> like a fucking idiot. But like. <laughs> If we played the actual fucking Mario Brothers, we'd have a better time. I just wanna, I just wanna put that on record. <laughs> anyway, you had you learned fire for warmth because Canada is still cold like as shit. cold as shit. Yeah. yeah. So that was kind of how the week went. The weird shit that happened though. I'm gonna put up like three more photos. I had a wizard staring at me the entire fucking time. <laughs> Buddy, you can't. <laughs> you can't tell me that. <laughs> I, I sent the picture um, to like a greater chat. I don't know if you saw it of the wizard at night. A night wizard? There's a day wizard and a night wizard. I'll, I'll put them both on the screen right now. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> you can't, you can't be fucking serious. <laughs> okay, next time you die or whatever, I'll show you the night wizard. But <laughs> that sounds like a fucking nightmare. Like I feel like I'd be seeing the night wizard next. <laughs> But I took a picture from my room, and all you can see outside is the store across the street. And it's this. (laughs) (laughs) All I 
I can see here's the night wizard out my window. <laughs> I would just cancel vacation at that point. <laughs> but like, that wasn't even the worst of it because there's the night wizard, but then there's also the fucking, um, let's see if I can scroll here. Did I take a picture of it or did I actually take a picture of it? Uh, there was the random, oh yeah, there it is. What the fuck we got was that? the crocodile giraffe flamingo zebra snake. Ooh, chimera? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what was in there. I didn't go in there, but I think it was another exactly the same store as the wizard store. And then there was also the, um, the big fucking mermaid store. Which is exactly... It. Okay, yeah, all right. Yep. That's the, as, the, as described, as advertised, the big fucking mermaid store. There are four stores that were around me that had these giant mascots on it. One of them didn't have a 3D one, and it was the most patriotic one. It had a bald eagle painted on it, an American flag, like, on this little lighthouse-looking thing. Hell yeah, brother! So, yeah, I walked in, they gave me a gun, and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what about this particular level is fucking chapping my nuts right now, but I hope it stops soon because I have a good uh, 30 minutes before time comes. Because <laughs> <laughs> as bad as I'm doing, I don't think... Uh... <laughs> I pressed the button! <laughs> as bad as I'm doing, I don't think. <laughs> I'm mad, actually, at this fucking controller. That's fair. Anyway, you had a traumatized time at... Oh my god, at, yeah. it was a nightmare. But like... In a nightmare that you know, wake up and go, huh, that's weird. <laughs> Not like one that makes you fear, I don't know, like uh, uh, <laughs> kitchen utensils. You had a nightmare that made you fear kitchen utensils? I'm just saying it's a possibility. Nothing's under the realm of a possibility with the brain. I suppose it is dreamland. Yeah, Dream. Yeah. Fucking Kirby comes in there. <laughs> <laughs> Eats your fucking cutlery. No. Like, no, I need that. <laughs> comes the cutlery man. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. So, yeah, that was my my brief trip to Florida, I guess, explanation. There was a lot of other weird, crazy shit. I think one of my favorite things was uh, Kevin. Okay, all right. There is a hare, and I'll put him up on screen, too. His name is Kevin, and he's a dickhead. Much like this fucking beetle man. Dickhead, yes. Kevin, Kevin the dickhead. <laughs> he, is, he stands about as tall as the couch... Uh, what is this armrest right now? Yeah. That's about as high as he is. And that's with his neck scrunched in. Like, her herons aren't small birds. And sure. uh, his beak looked like it was made to actually pierce holes into human flesh. So I was a little intimidated by Kevin. And then one of the uh, Disneyland workers is all like, yeah, that's Kevin. Kevin's an asshole. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> okay. You know, it's bad when a Disney worker says that things are assholes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, and I'm pretty sure they're paid to be, like, friendly friendly is. Yeah. 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 So, Kevin fucking, pa apparently a plague. <laughs> <laughs> the plague of Kevin. And he's not even, like, he's not an imported bird. He lives in Florida, and he just migrated into the animal kingdom to hang out. So, he's not even, like, anything special. He's just, he's just a Florida bird who is an asshole. So, like, a true Floridian, I guess. And, uh... <laughs> He, he he bullied the other birds out of the way to try and get at my food. Um, I didn't give him any, and he's like, all right, fine, fuck you. But he did make his way over to another family. And this is where I, like, I have to question the judgment of some people. Go on, yeah. What? Because if you're sitting down eating food beside a fence, yeah. and this three-foot-tall bird, three-and-a-half-foot-tall bird jumps up on the fence beside you, staring at your food, on a small fence that doesn't really, like, he, he doesn't fit comfortably on. What is your first thought? <laughs> Get away from that fucking bird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That bird is probably going to go for my food or something, right? No. This family did not have that thought in their entire brains. They looked at Kevin, continued eating, and then proceeded to get really, really, really angry when Kevin stole his food because Kevin was sitting up there for two minutes prepping how best to steal his food. That was like threading the needle, dude. I couldn't hold forward because I would have died to the turtle, and I couldn't hold back because then I just dunked myself into the thing, much like you did on that one thing 70 times. What if we had butter shoes? <laughs> I want to preface this. Like, Kevin, very good story. I'm going to comment on Kevin in a hot second. Um, I fucking hate this deep. <laughs> And I fucking hate that every time I jump and, like, supposed to leave the ground, the ground disappears. Yeah. Again, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> anyway, Kevin, right. Um, He's the king of the animals, and we should respect him like a fucking monarch that he is. <laughs> I, uh... 
absolutely love the fact, too, that this old white guy came over, and he's like, I, I think he wanted a picture of Kevin or something like that, but he absolutely has no idea how to approach any animal who is, like, only slightly afraid of people, because he just walks up with his arms outstretched, being like, <laughs> hey, look, bird, and then the bird flies away, and he goes, aw. It's like, what did you, what did you expect, homie? Like, Kevin may be a monarch, but he understands that if you make yourself bigger, like, uh... So, yeah, like, I... It was the dumbest... People were dumb. I didn't I didn't spend too much time observing people. See, I would go I would to go America go... specifically to observe the people. Well, that's the thing. I wouldn't enjoy my vacation if I did, because <laughs> I would just be doing that. Like, I would take it... I would bring note-taking devices and just be like, I'm not going to take a picture, but I will take notes as to the random amount of stuff that I see in, in that, specifically in that side of the country as well. Oh, I did take notes. I have a couple of notes here. Uh, okay, very good. <laughs> so let's go Let's go down a couple of weird things that I've noticed um, being in America as a Canadian, as an East Coast Canadian, because that's very that's, specific. It's, it's very important. Yeah. Uh, the yogurt is fucking oh my weird. God. Yeah. Really fucking weird. How like, weird. Like, I did mention the nipple thing earlier. Yeah. This is what I was referring to. It came, like, there was a machine in the in the, the hotel that I was staying at. Are you supposed to, are you milking the yogurt? It can, it, it kind of came out like a blah, 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 from the machine that made incredibly increasingly loud noises the more yogurt you wanted. <laughs> and the yogurt was so sweet it fucking burned to eat. It so, was oh my fucking god! This painful yogurt. Before. So here's the thing about American food that I have noticed from just observation is that um, if you think it's sweet, it's if you think something sweet here, it's it's not as sweet as it can be. Oh yeah, and that's America, and to a lesser extent, uh, British sweets. But the thing about British sweets is that sweets are supposed to be sweet. And the thing about America is that everything has 20 grams of sugar, even if you're eating meat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At least, like, with the, the UK, European sweets, like, they're balanced. They're they're meant to be balanced sweets. Yeah. Fucking Hershey's is ass. It tastes like throw up. Don't at me. Hershey sucks. Uh, um, yeah, uh, the anti-abortion billboards that I saw everywhere. Uh, it was Florida. <laughs> oh, so. yeah, people, people are still allowed to speak, though, there. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can just throw anything you fucking want on a billboard up there. It's fucking crazy. The amount of injury lawyer billboards that I saw was also insane. That is just on brand for America, anyway. Oh, yeah. It's like I'm watching, like, uh, Fox, but I'm home from school. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else is there? Oh, the, the, so... My job is in kind of road infrastructure, and what I found was really weird was they had, like, dedicated U-turn spots, and we kind of do too, but only for emergency vehicles, but these were literally just intended for people to just pull UEs, I guess. So... People are addicted to fucking UEs, dude. Very peculiar. Uh, because I'm also in the infrastructure, the fucking signal turns sucked. Okay. I went across the street once to go visit the wizard, actually, and uh, to get there, I had to handle... A they they had a, a green and a left turn green, so you could go forward or left mm -hmm. with no opposing traffic. And then the left turn green would stop, so you could go forward, and then the other lane could go forward as well. But then they would stop, and the original lane would get the green turn again. Man, you're supposed to die. Anyway, yeah. And then they would stop being able to go forward, and the lane that could go forward goes forward, and then they both stop. And that way, the opposing or like the uh, the opposite lanes, like the perpendicular lanes, could finally go. So they had like four or five signals for one direction. Mm. <laughs> and it was very fucking weird. Um, if that makes any sense to anybody, probably not. I butcher the English language constantly. Um, the places to eat were way too close to each other. Yeah. Did you want to go to Popeyes or Wendy's or Burger King or uh, <laughs> like this fish fry or Nantucket Shrimp Eatery or um, Taco Bell or Del Taco or Chipotle or and it's all within like spitting distance of each other. I could throw a rock and hit fifteen restaurants at any time. It's the same cashier too. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, I did eat at Denny's multiple times, though, because Denny's is fucking goaded. Holy shit, I love Denny's. The, the Denny's goat? Denny's Denny's was great. When I walked in, um, the lady looked at my phone and was like, Oh my god, I love that phone. I really want that phone. That's such a nice phone. And uh, I was like, yeah, it's it's pretty tight. I, I really like it. Um, highly recommend it to anybody who's like needs a new phone because it's just really cool. By the way, for those who don't know, I have the, the Foldy phone. It's sick. I love it to death. Um... So she was like, you can watch, like, really sick movies and stuff on there, right? And I was like, yeah. 
And so I open up uh, some AEW because I was watching wrestling. And she's like, and you're watching wrestling? My guy. Because <laughs> she's also a fairly huge wrestling fan. And it opens on to Brian Danielson. And she's like, oh, I love it. Oh, my God. You two are so great. Even though <laughs> we just got there and we're exhausted. <laughs> oh, I, I dunked in the thing you had trouble with. Yeah. Uh, can we invite them as like a guest? <laughs> I feel like they're cool. <laughs> I, I liked her. She was great. Um, the seatbelt use, very sporadic at best. Yeah. Every lift, bus driver, whatever. The seatbelt was questionable. Uh, my favorite was we were driving to the park and the, the bus driver guy saw a cop pull up beside us. And I just watched him slowly reach up for the seatbelt and put it on. <laughs> and then when the cop left, he immediately takes it off. Like, just, oh my, shut up. Just put it on, dude. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Um, that wasn't good. <laughs> no organic waste bins whatsoever. Well, that's the thing. Uh, our, our guild leader was also fucking wild about... Was it our guild leader? Who visited Canada and was uh, yeah, wilding was, out about the fucking was, organic uh, the, bins? Our, our warrior slash shaman or whatever. Yeah, yeah. he was like... He, he went to Vancouver for a while and was very confused by our bin system. I'm thinking about bins. I I can't <laughs> we, concentrate on the game. We have garbage recycling, organic, and paper. Like those are those are the standard Canadian bins. <laughs> and we're not even like the best at waste management. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. It was Scotia burns most of our shit. It sucks. Oh, I, I, I want to say even in the world, like as much as like Japan doesn't really have room for any of that, they like, they still have like a garbage organization system. It's like pretty yeah. good. Um, juice was all garbage. The juice was. Absolutely, like, nothing tastes like real food. <laughs> well, that's the thing about America, is that if I think about food in America, I think that it's just going to be churned out of a machine somewhere. Yeah. And when you ask for OJ at a restaurant or something like that, they, they put ice in it, which I thought was weird. Why? Right? That just waters down your OJ and makes it even worse. Well, people... <laughs> I'm going to make fun of Americans, old boys. People <laughs> in America that uh, just generally <laughs> ask for OJ <laughs> uh, want, oh, don't want vitamins. They just want... <laughs> <laughs> they just want ice. <laughs> <laughs> What's a good vessel for ice? <laughs> uh, they're afraid of vitamin C, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sunshine state. <laughs> That's where they get all the oranges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, farmers are like, ew, what is that? And they, what the they, fuck? That, that's their salad. job, yeah. <laughs> you, talk, you talk about vitamin C, there's like, are you saying the GMOs are putting vitamin C in my oranges? And it's like, oh, I'm, I'm real bad. I'm real sorry about that. That's a very offensive America thing. <laughs> but also, it's very funny to think about. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, food was weird there. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. yeah. And like, because I'm at Denny's too for a good chunk of my time there, I was like, I completely forgot that you have to ask for hot tea. Oh, right, because the sweet tea is very popular down I there. I yeah. regret not trying sweet tea, but at the same time, my teeth thank me for not trying sweet tea. Sweet tea is exactly what you think it is. I am horrified by the prospect of trying it. Th do, do you like iced tea at all? I, I love iced tea. <laughs> Here's the thing about sweet tea. It's not iced tea. I know. It's like the Kool-Aid of iced tea. Which is fucked, right? <laughs> I didn't know that they could bastardize tea as much, but they did historically throw it in a fucking beer. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They really fucking hate tea down there. <laughs> Most of the tea, when you ask for hot tea, they're like, I guess, whatever, weirdo. <laughs> they bastard, they hate tea so much that they're like, we're going to make a juice. <laughs> and then we're just gonna call it tea. <laughs> Why? Yeah, you heard me. What's the juice? I don't know. <laughs> Put a little bit of lemon in it. <laughs> What's that weird thing that farmer hates? Squeeze it. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps selling them because he just doesn't want them anymore. <laughs> he found out people pay for that. Oh boy. Are you saying these things produce vitamin C? What kind of fucking. <laughs> oh, and uh, fucking plastic bags. That was another wild thing. Because we don't have plastic bags here anymore. Oh, yeah, because we respect a little bit. Just a little bit. Enough to nod at the environment. Yeah, enough to inconvenience the people and not put the blame on 70% of the corporations that. Or no, like, what is it? 10 corporations that do 70% of the world's pollution or something like that? It's, it's, yeah. But, you know, the blame is on us for using plastic straws. Not saying that everybody should be using plastic straws. I, I respect switching to the paper shit, but, like, goddamn. Trying to make people reduce, reuse, recycle when it's never... Our impact is minimal at best. Anyway. <laughs> I pressed the A button, but fair enough. 
America's weird. I'm glad to be back in Canada. But one last thing before we left America, we were like walking around the, the New Jersey airport. I was completely dead off my feet. My feet were no longer working. We did like 20,000 steps a day. Um, on top of standing in lines for assassin, dude. like 75 minutes plus, depending on the ride. Yeah. So my feet were just two bruises at the end of sticks at that point. Like, I could not walk. Uh, there was one point where we could have ran and made the shuttle. This is the one time things inconvenienced. We could have ran, we couldn't run. We could, we could not run at all. You have a good time over there? I'm a little bit mad. It's becoming very apparent where you need to actually watch out for stuff that I actually need a controller that works, but fair enough. <laughs> uh, inconvenience, br bruises on legs, you had to run for a shuttle. Yeah, so anyway, my legs don't work. We get to Newark, and I'm like, I should probably eat before I get on the plane, so I walk over to Shake Shack, which is like the closest food place, because it's Shake Shack. Ooh. Apparently Shake Shack rules. And then I had Shake Shack, and I was like, this is pretty good. So I enjoy Shake Shack. Okay. Uh, my lovely partner decided to get a Newark Airport taco. See, <laughs> New Jersey Airport taco. Being absolutely fair to your partner, if I were sitting in that airport and they were ordering a taco, I would also order a taco. <laughs> now, when, when I say New Jersey Airport taco, what's the first thing you think of? <laughs> Trash. <laughs> 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 like condensed garbage and nacho cheese. She had food poisoning for three days. <laughs> yeah. That's something that wants to get out of your body and it lives. Like <laughs> you don't you don't need that combination of words. I so I'm downstairs. The the bathroom is above us, and I'm hearing her puke violently. And I mean violently. Like people go sometimes she's screaming into the toilet oh, and I'm no. like oh no but like I can't do anything right like I, I've, I've gotten a couple like I got uh, some digestive biscuits I got ginger ale or whatever yeah. like I got I got all the prerequisites it's up to her at this point and like it's between her and her guts I can't do anything it's between her and God yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm down here and so like I have my earbuds in because oh boy listening to scream puke not really the most fun thing to do <laughs> So I I gently reach up and I turn my earbuds from open to closed, like noise canceling so I don't hear her. <laughs> but then I hear banging on the floor. <laughs> so, no, dude! <laughs> and so I come up and she's like, like, God bless her, but like she's crying in the bathroom. She doesn't understand what's going on. She's never had food poisoning this bad. And she's like, yeah, I go to the hospital. It's like, you don't, you just have food poisoning, bud. I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Am I dying? No, you just have food poisoning. You're going to be okay. <laughs> and like, she's wearing a onesie. And it's just like, it's just the saddest, comfiest thing I've seen in my life. I jumped into that guy. <laughs> don't I, I'm not dialed at all. I think this is just our bane. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> it's the controller. Like, you can you can be like, haha, who blames the controller? No, it's a thousand percent the controller. That's why you have to play this, with this. The exact... is, this is just the challenge is can you beat Super Mario Brothers with this fucking <laughs> with controller? The butter controller? Yeah. <laughs> Get a fucking speedrunner on the horn and go like play the game with this controller. Yeah, See do, how you do feel. with this. <laughs> Good luck, <laughs> they idiot. Just pick it up and vomit. <laughs> Like, I held forward there, and I'm pretty sure it read, hey, you're... you want down? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, when you, when the screen goes up and down, those aren't actual actions we ever performed. Like, you'll see the screen look up probably somewhere around here. That is not really on purpose. It's just it's just the controller. No, why did I jump there? I, I was like, I was feeling myself a little bit. Oh, nice. But it looks like that ego is bad for my health. <laughs> I listened to that song for the first time isolated the other day, and I was like, oh, fuck, Leroy's such a cool character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the Leroy theme from Tekken actually fucking slaps. Tekken, Tekken music generally slaps, I feel. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I wasn't really a big fan of it, but then I isolated and actually, like, I why that that worked like seventy five percent of the time. Anyway, I just um, love that my main has a banger theme. I like that my main is hated by the community. Oh yeah, like <laughs> I mean, granted, so is mine. Like the amount of comments that I had on my Steam profile of like, "fuck you" playing Leroy or like, uh, "I alt F four against Leroy's and fuck em roms and shit like that. Like, just learn to fucking play the game, dude. <laughs> it's not that difficult, but like, you just have to play play a different game. If anybody says my character is broken, there's literally one pro player that uses my character. <laughs> uh. I mean, there was that one time where, like, 
oh my god. <laughs> we saw a bear in the top eight of Evo, and it was amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah that's true, that's true. <laughs> Evo was amazing this year. I'm pretty sure there was only, like, one event where, like, most people played Leroy, and that was on release, and also it was a very different meta. 2019 Leroy release, he was fucked. And of the I top eight, oh my god. seven of them were Leroy, and one of them was Julia. <laughs> <laughs> Tekken was not okay at the time. It's a lot better now. I think the game is one of the more balanced fighting games I've ever touched in my entire life. Uh, so people, like, it, it's, it's the end of the cycle anyway, but, like, I'm pretty sure even when Leroy was broken, uh, it was still pretty balanced. It was just, he was a little overtuned in a lot of places. Yeah. 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 Like, he, yeah. <laughs> he needs some dialing back. And now I play the dial back version. I never even got to play, like, the blessed version, and people were like, fuck you for playing Leroy. I was like, I don't know what I did, but it was probably really cool. Historically, I'm pretty bad, but, like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not that good at the game. Neither am I. Yeah. I just, I, I get gimmicks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my, my gimmick is back to parry everything. My gimmick is, uh... I'm going to force you to try to block me, and then I'm going to kill you. I actually think I might not beat your time if this keeps happening. I'm, I'm thinking about other things. Sometimes I look at you. Other <laughs> Johns. Sun was in my eyes. I don't know. <laughs> well, like, you took most of the brunt on the talking last episode, so I decided to talk about my trip on this one to try and help you out. The, you the unfortunate part about my brain and how it works while playing a video game... Why did that not work this time? Active listening is hard. Active listening is hard because I also like to, uh, I, I like to listen to people in that I, you can tell 100% of the time when I'm occupied with something else and I'm just like having a hard time. But like in a conversation where we're one on one, I feel the need, which is polite, to like actively listen. <laughs> <laughs> so like sometimes I just look over at you as I'm like doing a difficult jump and I'm like, oh right, I'm actually supposed to like be pressing A here at some point. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's one thing I always worry about talking to people. Like when I'm driving or doing this, I never look at the people. Like I'll never look at you when I'm driving because I'm supposed to be looking at the road. <laughs> I'm just gonna take it slow. I don't know why I'm doing this fucking speedrun dumb bullshit. <laughs> Because it's a speedrun challenge, gosh. I mean, I had trouble paying attention with this at all. Like, if I'm in a raid and I'm, like, trying to pay attention to when the pain's up a guy and someone's talking about, like, something, uh, as much as I'm also the type of guy, I pressed A there, and I wanted to jump, and there was a whole lot going on there. Anyway, um... I, I, I physically can't pay attention to talking to people or listening to people and do something high functioning at the same time. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm like, I need I need music in order to distract me from outside influences. Fair. It's a little weird. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be going on in my brain at once to focus, like the zone in, but not to the point where I have to have like those auto runners or like people cutting soap or shit that I've seen. That's. Here, okay, all right, all right. I have a huge problem with that style of content. Oh, same. Like, it, does, it doesn't make any sense as to why those videos are popular ex at all. Like, to me, in my brain, if I'm listening to something... Like, it happens all the time when I'm watching TikTok with Emily. And, like, um, I see a video of, like, a comedian doing a comedy set. And on the side is just one of these, like oddly satisfying. Here's I'm gonna cut squares into a soap bar and then cut the soap bar and it's all rainbow and spark. I've done this for the past fucking ten times. I feel like I'm in a time loop. <laughs> um, and it's just like two videos playing at the exact same time and I'm like, what kind of content farm is doing this? The like, who, who, what, 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 what audience? I want to see the audience that says those are my favorite videos. Yeah. yeah. There's um, one that I constantly get that I keep skipping over and the algorithm has not kicked it out of my feed of, like, people doing Minecraft obstacle courses in the background, slightly blurred, with, like, uh, just AMA stories over top of it. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand what, like, I, I, I understand where the views are coming from, it's just people, like, just playing stuff in the background. Like, I don't, it's one of those things, like, uh, if you ask someone about the videos that they watch, they're never going to say, yeah, I specifically seek... That guy was a sniper. I thought he was <laughs> dropping. Um, they're never going to say, yeah, I seek those videos out. It's always a, yeah, they come on my feed and for some reason I watch them. Like, yeah. It's kind of like the mobile ads. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Maybe maybe I found something out here. Okay, all right. I'm addicted to shitty video game, like mobile game ads because they're always so fucking stupid they're and ridiculous. Insane. Like, it's, it's like a car crash. You have to watch them. Maybe that is the dynamic, and then I, I'm just not, like, I'm more conscientious about it. Someone's stinky, someone's pregnant, or someone is, like, inflate, like, just inflating in some way or some shit. Like, zombies, zombies occasionally for no reason, and the game is, like, a, a 
solitaire. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I fucking died there. Um, a lot of the... I, it's very strange. I've recognized patterns. It's very strange. Like, uh, the key stuff? I don't know when that became popular, and I don't know what AI keeps pumping them out. But, like, the video game ads where, like... Oh my fucking god. Um, where, like, they pull a fucking pin, and then something on the map interacts, and it's always the fucking, uh, AFK arena guy that is the oh, avatar yeah. for that. And it's just like... And then you have to have somebody talking over top of it, too, being like, This game is the best game I ever played on mobile, and you can get it free now for, like, fucking, uh, use my promo code to get 500 hours of... I would watch an, uh, like, an eight-hour compilation of, uh, fake people praising the game. Like, it's so entertaining how fucking fake and hilarious it sounds. Uh, that I would legitimately like watch that as content. <laughs> <laughs> like I would, I would pay a channel specifically to find any like, and, and they have tried to do it before. But like, there was this uh, arena game that's essentially just rock paper scissors dressed up as Fire Emblem. Yeah. Um, and it was just like it's so strategic. Like I'm gonna do defense, but like it's just so dumb and arbitrary. It's like a fucking eight year old is uh, pitching a game idea of like I want armies, and if you uh, get your archers to level three, your armies can defeat the dragon, but only if you have the like dragon sword and the shielders out in front. And it's just like so ridiculous that like it, it had to be a brainstorm meeting that turned into a Unity project that turned into a script because they couldn't be asked to finish the Unity project, and uh, then it went into an AI algorithm, and then it shadowed a script for someone to read. Like, it's 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 that far deep, and I'm so interested in the process as to how they do it, even though I know it's just... Ah, fuck me. Uh, go, go find a game developer Twitter, and then just, like, fucking base the script off of that. Like, yeah. it's so obnoxiously bad. But yet there's... there's it's, but I can't stop watching it. Yeah. It's a car crash. It's the equivalent of a car crash. There's thousands of them at this point. Yeah. And they're all incredibly horrible, and I love them. They're either horrible or incredibly horny for some reason. Yeah. 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 Level 99 boss. <laughs> <laughs> the, um... Right now, there's a trend of those type of ads that are um, a, a grid. So you're a guy who starts at a, like an arbitrary level, like level three or level one, oh, and then you have yeah. to like you have to interact with the other squares, and they also have numbers associated with them. So obviously, if you're level three, you gotta go fight the level two guy, and then you gain his levels, and then I'm like. All right, okay, fair enough. And then the fucking guy goes to the level nine guy is a level five, and it's like, I don't think you know how to play this game. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's the point. It's yeah, I know, I know. And it's, like and just it's just like, I've seen so... so many iterations of it that now, for some reason, AFK Arena guy has gotten so much fucking mileage out of that one sprite model that he's been, like, it, it's shifted from, like, high fantasy, like, look at all these super action moves you can do, blah, 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 by, like, just putting them into the, the bigger number or, like, the lower number and what have you, and look at these crazy animations that we're not gonna actually put in the fucking game um to yeah this uh big level 99 woman is just going to like kick you down a tower and then you have to go beat up the, the, the implied beat up your girlfriend or some shit like it's so weird <laughs> the mobile gaming sphere is a very peculiar thing but it makes billions of dollars a year so it's like well i guess they're doing something right <laughs> i mean they're they're fire big whales and then the uh People that aren't paying attention are buying their $2 games. When are we going to make the Loot Lads mobile game? Uh, With the only microtransaction being a $1,000 loot box. <laughs> What's in the loot box? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter, but... <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Stolen art assets? Hell yeah. <laughs> and then we can apologize later. I feel like if we're just doing that, we should just get in the, like, fake crypto. Like, we True. Could, yeah. That also is an option. Aw. Uh, I don't think the timer is favorable. You ended at like 45 minutes. I have no idea at this point. Well, if I don't beat this now, I'm pretty sure you you win. I, I, I can't play this game. <laughs> <laughs> I like platformers. I just can't play this game. <laughs> we're also Butter Controller. Butter Controller? We're talking about like mobile ads and shit? I'm dying to this guy. All right, he jumps. Oh, fuck's sake. You only make it if you don't lose any momentum beforehand. Yeah, yeah I, I know. know. I'm bad. I'm not a speedrunner, as it turns out. 
There's a jump that speedrunners can do, but I don't know if it's in deluxe on this level. Um, actually on all the pipes that I, I've never been able to do. But you can, like, there's a certain part of your foot that doesn't interact with things properly. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if it got patched. <laughs> <laughs> Which is wild to think about. Yeah, because that guy goes down. And then there's a turtle. And there's this guy. Hey! hey! Oh, they all worked out. <laughs> We'll make content out of this yet, son! <laughs> oh my god. Looks like you're feeling yourself. That kind of ego ain't good for you. <laughs> you just, yeah, fucking Leroy Hubris. I wasn't lying when I said I was listening to that pretty much nonstop. It's fucking fantastic. You're about to get this work. No! Your ego's about to get more than its feelings hurt. <laughs> it's such a good song. I came back from the east. <laughs> I fucking love that guy. I severely hope we get more Leroy. Like, it, it's such a cool fucking character design. <laughs> Back on the Tekken train, but yeah, everybody loves the Leroy. Like, from the design, like, it, uh, again, uh, on the Avatar thing, Leroy made popular culture more than fucking the entire Avatar franchise. Yeah. Because T-Pain dressed up as Leroy and looked like a fucking baller. He did? Yeah. That's fucking amazing. Right? Like, here one sec. Why did I jump? I'm thinking about fucking t Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was hop kicking. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Hop kick the bullet. Oh my god. Okay. All right. But yeah, he. Uh, he oh, that's fucking sick. Yeah, like straight up. t Pain play Tekken. Just saw the character. Was like, fuck yeah. Probably just saw the character, but I hope. I mean, he does. I'm fucking down either way. Like, like. Down to the leopard print shoes and everything, like fucking the glasses. Yeah, that's like it's surprisingly one to one. Like, yeah. The only thing he's missing, I think, is a bangle in the right arm and and a, <laughs> a small and a, and a small dog. Little dog yeah, <laughs> named Sugar. Come here, Sugar. Who decided to give Leroy a tiny dog and give them a medal? <laughs> give them a raise. <laughs> Was that Harada? I hope so. Give that man a raise. <laughs> I would love to say, like, to think that he saw the character design, the Leroy, and was like, there's something missing. And then just <laughs> puts a PNG of a dog in the character art. I <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> and they're just like, yes! <laughs> exactly, that's it. That's what I'm hoping. It just, it just seems so perfect. I'm just glad, like, I, I only wanted to play the character because I know him from popular culture and not because I played Tekken. Um... Because he's a new introduction, and I was like, I'm very pleased with this character. I like him a lot. See, I have uh, distinct degenerate energy, and I try all of the cute girls first characters and then <laughs> hope that it's something gels. And as it turns out, if you're a cute girl in a fighting game, generally you're gimmicked or you're heavy rushdown. And there's not really much in between, unfortunately. <laughs> And then Street Fighter 6 is coming out, and I'm looking at Marissa being like, oh my fucking god. Is that the big thick lady? That's the big thick lady. Yeah, I'm kind of like into that. She's just so fucking brutal. Like, it's amazing. And if you lose, she just carries you away. She, you, you are hers now. <laughs> she owns you. Isn't her hair like a Spartan helmet? Yeah, and then she puts on a Spartan helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Her hair is in the shape of a Spartan helmet, and then she also sometimes wears a Spartan helmet. I like how they... They, they did both the character introductions pretty much at the same time, as well as DJ. Yeah, the French one and her. Yeah, and then, like, the French one is like, I'm a ballerina grappler, and I'm graceful, and I'm also evil? Um, and then, like, yeah, here's this definite, like, saber character, but she's also fucking jacked, and there's no grace about her. <laughs> there's no grace at all. Woo! I don't know why they decide to jump. I think it's timer based, and I've just been off kilter. I am very excited for Street Fighter 6. I'm very excited for it too. I'm excited to see all the Street Fighter boys be like, "Yeah, Street Fighter 5 is better." <laughs> I don't think anyone actually will say that is no. the problem. Yeah, I, I've, I've, I did play the beta, and fuck, it feels good. See, here's the thing about like that is like people. It, it's, it's just the generation thing of if Street Fighter 5 came out, Street Fighter 4 was better, which is true, but still. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but if Street Fighter 6 comes out, you know there's gonna be like. Man, uh, Street Fighter 6 is not that great because you can't uh, V-Trigger cancel into 50% uh, damage as uh, fucking... I was going to say Leroy for some reason. <laughs> yeah, they pointed Leroy in the game. God, what a guest character. Fucking parry character. <laughs> uh, 
Um, the, the, the Street Fighter 6 feels really good to play. I'm very excited for it. Mm, fighting Fight, games. Yeah, fighting games are fantastic. I, we should play more fighting games. Yeah. I don't know why there hasn't been that much business in the Fight Boy chat, but also I've been playing World of Warcraft. Yeah, I was going to so, say, yeah. we've been playing War, uh, Warcraft-like degenerates. Can I just say that no. as the days... Okay, fair enough. All right, uh, I guess so. I as, guess it's part of a discussion show or whatever. As the days go by, I'm realizing very quickly that I do not like World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> There's just something about it, and I'm pretty sure it's the fact that I'm a little bit more cognizant of what I want to do um, in my free time as opposed to playing World of Warcraft, that every t second that I'm not playing World of Warcraft, I'm like, now I'm behind. Because <laughs> I don't need to grind rune to orbs for three different characters now. Yeah, it does suck. Yeah. Like, that, that fucking investment. And I have no money-making thing, because I wasn't in on the ground floor of, like, all of the professions being busted. So now I'm just like, yeah, right, I'm going to gamble on potions of speed, making one gold at a time until I reach, like, 5k. And then I'm going to spend 2,000 bucks worth of materials to upgrade all of the gear that I got in the raid that I grinded for. And it's just like, I, I guess I'm becoming more and more cognizant that I'd rather be playing uh, anything else. Fighting games? <laughs> yeah. Fighting games are very rewarding. World of Warcraft is only rewarding if you have a team that wants to do things, irregardless of gear. Because if you don't have, like... Oh, wow. I just fucking decided that I wanted to jump into the lava. <laughs> Ooh, red stuff. Ooh, I love Kool-Aid. <laughs> oh, my God. I pressed the B button to jump. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm lapsing. I'm lapsing. <laughs> hey... Uh, yeah, like, the small Warcraft tangent, I guess. It's nice that we have a, a good group of ten people that want to do ten, ten people content. The 25 content is just, I've, I've gotten myself way too deep now. So the 25 content is technically tougher, um, in the fact that it's just bigger, bigger numbers. But, like, I, I, I don't see a difference anymore. I don't know if it's, like, my attitude towards the game now, but, like, I, I just don't care. <laughs> Fair. Like, there's many other people above me on, like, the charts that are doing, like, so much more, and I'm like, okay, well, I, I can do a middling amount and then just, like, compare myself to people on these charts and then just not care, but then I just stop caring, so I'm like, yeah, I don't actually need to do DPS because uh, other people will just do it for me, waves hand. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I'd much rather be a utility role or, like, oh my fucking god, these fucking fish. <laughs> Get me out of here. All right, it's the wrong one. I need to go past the lava. Um, like, I'd much rather play healer or tank. Like, I'd, I'd rather be contributing in that way. I, uh, that's why I don't have a single DPS character. <laughs> DPS is fine. Like, it, you did, you still need it. Like, they have a job to do. But I don't see the appeal anymore. It's it's bland. Oh, fuck. I f and uh, it's also because I have an inability to do damage. I don't know why. I don't know why. I have good gear on the Shadow Priest. Uh, this fucking guy without even four set is just like dominating me on charts. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> He's playing the same class, same spec, and he asks me, "Can you teach me how to heal?" Because uh, we have enough DPS, which is like also a thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you you stay you stay damage. I'll, I'll heal. No. <laughs> no, I mean like the, you, oh, you, damn, should, you should be healing. The you should be dealing is, damage. Because. Yeah. For some reason, he presses his buttons harder or whatever. I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just that, like, I, I need an add-on that tells me when my fucking dots drop, because I am completely blind and deaf and dumb. <laughs> um, that's literally all it is. I've checked I've checked the, 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 the logs, the stats, right? Like, I've looked into um, some things. The numbers things, don't lie? And the numbers, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for your boy, uh, your, your boy Chris. <laughs> um, and the fact that, like... I think that I keep my dots up uptime. Uh, essentially, to explain it for people that don't play World of Warcraft, um, I play a class that puts a thing on the boss, and the thing does constant. I could have. No! I could have left. I thought he was gonna be on the ground, and I I clocked it way too late. Fears the mind killer. Um, I put a thing on the boss, and that thing just kills the boss. That, yeah, that's it. Um, but you have to refresh it every once in a while, and every second or so that you don't do that on the boss, I could have jumped over that. Um, you just, like, you, you just lose damage. That's that's just simple, sim simple as, as it can get. So your job is to keep those dots up, and then it affects everything else that you do, but it's not really as important as keeping those dots up. Um, and apparently, the only difference between me and him, because my dots actually do more damage than him, 
but he has like a fucking that would have been amazing. He has like the perfect fucking rotation apparently. Uh, because looking at it, it's like, all right, uptime, exactly the same. Casts, literally, like, I'm pretty sure he gets two ticks from every, like, one that I miss or some bullshit like that. Like, I think he has haste and shit, because I do more damage. Um, I do almost as much uptime. Uh, nah, somehow he has more ticks than me. <laughs> this is why I like healing. Yeah. Well, like, I, I like the competitive aspect. Like, don't get me wrong. I feel like that is what the DPS player plays, is that... They optimize, and optimization in itself is really good, even as, a, like, a healer or another, like, tanking class, for example. Yeah. Um, I think that, like, it's it's gameplay, um, and it engages a lot of people, including me. But figuring it out of why am I not doing... Like, it's, I guess, the competitive aspect that um, makes me worried about what I'm doing. So now I have a slight anxiety every time I go in as Shadow, and I'm like, oh, am I pushing my buttons just wrong? And when I push them right, it's just not at the right timing. I'm like, all right, well, what the fuck am I going to do? Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, it, that's that's why I just don't like doing damage, is because I feel like I'm just not optimal. And then that also psychs me out, and I don't do optimal things. Fair. Yeah. This is why I've made myself known as only healer guy. I mean, I like tanking. Like, warrior... You bitch, bastard bitch! Oh, oh, oh I did it! Fuck Warcraft! <laughs> Your quest is over! Uh, also, it takes way too much fucking time. I fucking hate that game. Next time on Loot Lads. Compare the times. Uh, I'm pretty sure I lost. Fanfare. Oh, yeah. Ah, we talked about his vacation. Ah, <laughs> ah, Beard wasn't really that paying much attention. Ah! <laughs> America's food is kind of shitty, but also kind of good in some places. Ah, ah. <laughs> don't forget your medal. I don't want my medal. You can have it. You gotta get your medal. I'm gonna get you a license plate that says I served. <laughs> I've served in the Mario War. This is kind of a war, isn't it? Like, in the macro story of, uh... In the macro story of Mario Brothers, you stole a monarch. You stole someone who runs the kingdom, and you need to get them back from a tyrant who steals monarchs. Also, weren't all the bricks people at one point that got turned into bricks? Yeah, I don't know why they decided that they made the people bricks. Like, I, that's a good strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong. You can't war against me if you're bricks. <laughs> if I was a tyrant, right, and I decide I'm going to steal the one person who runs the country, and also everyone who could possibly fight back is now a brick. Hmm. Like, I feel like that's a foolproof strategy. I don't know why Bowser just didn't keep doing that. We should brick more people. I feel like that's... I feel like that's, that's, that's why if we get superpowers, we just don't... We, we, we aren't allowed to act at all. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to turn a lot of people into bricks. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you suddenly realize that your one superpower in the Cosmic Lottery is turning people into bricks. That's still pretty good. Yeah. Do I have to touch them, or can I just be like, you're bricks now? Do I have so, to be in a vicinity? Can so, I just think really hard? Judging from the power set of what we saw, Bowser probably didn't touch everybody that he turned into a brick. Because mm. there's a lot of bricks in this game. So I feel as though it's more like a either a cast range or like a channel thing where everyone where you specify gets turned into a brick. A little risky. A little I mean, risky. But here's the thing. If you become brick man... Okay, all right, all right. So the strategy here is to not reveal what your powers are. If someone detects that you have powers, you need to make sure that they... like. It's kind of like a Grail War thing where if they know what you do then they can counter you exactly. Yeah, true. I mean, I, I say Grail War thing. That's just general, like, combat, like, secret power, whatever. Yeah. Um, so you have to keep that secret. And when you brick an entire population, you need to get out of there. Mm. Because mm. The, who's going to be the one suspect person in a city full of brick people and you're not the only, like, you're, you're the only guy that hasn't been bricked. Now, here's what you can do. You could make select people not bricks. Oh, fantastic. I'm definitely not... I'm, I'm turning everybody in a civilization into bricks, except for the bricklayers. <laughs> but here's the thing. 
And here's what I'm afraid of in that scenario. What if it's Shin Megami Tensei thing, where everyone gets affected except for these cast of characters that have personas? Oh, shit. So then they use their brick powers to, like, actually brick you as opposed to turning into bricks. So now maybe because they're brick layers, they have some sort of an innate resistance or because you cast all your spell on everyone except brick layers, um, they either know that they're safe or the spell doesn't work on them because you specify it. So now they have to stop you before you can find out how to reverse that so that you can brick everyone except brick layers. And again, it's the Shin Megami Tensei thing or the Persona thing where the guy with the Persona developing Personas gets killed or stopped by the person or by, by like high school kids that just so happen that also have Personas. Or in this case, brick layers with a lot of fucking bricks. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to get like hit with a trowel and then a fucking brick is coming at you. I'll never see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an all-out attack! <laughs> Fuck, stop, no! Next time loot, lads. <laughs> brick soda! <laughs> I'm pissed that you beat me.